Dirty Dozen 024, hello. Jasmine's in the garden is here. So Chef Courtney is here as well. How are you, Mindy? How's, how's your Good. day? Can you hear me okay? Yes. Perfect. This is my first time using oh, It's exciting. Cream. I feel so nervous. I thought there was going to be three people, but there's 30 something. That's great. 30. Oh, yes. 36. Oh, we wonderful. can wait a couple more minutes. Hi, everybody. You don't miss out. So, everyone, this is Mindy from Vermistera. So, we're okay. going to talk about soil health. And Tress is here from Naive Urban Gardener. Kamusta? Okay, Miss Sabu. Hello. Oh, hey, I see. Boys Gardening says, love your products. Love yes, you guys, too. Awesome. <laughs> Why I can't love we have someone people. from India. Hi, Rianka. Wow. Wow. Awesome. wonder what time it is there. Okay. Hi, Jasmine. Masilla just taught me this week what a reel was because I didn't know what a reel is. <laughs> I thought everything was just coming from TikTok. So, you um, know what? It's I'm well, learning technology. Are, yeah, well, some people are recycling their TikTok into the reels, but then it's uh, more authentic if you make the reels, you know, on Instagram. Instead Hi, of Ultimate Gardening. Oh, como esta from California? Moa Feek. So we're going to talk about soil health, building the soil, because without fertile and healthy soil, our plants won't thrive and won't produce. And I kind of want to touch on this um, subject because um, I think it's important, like you feel, Mindy, um, to be using organic, more natural soil amendments versus chemical-derived ones. There's, a, I mean, few negative things that can happen into the soil and the environment when we're using synthetic fertilizers. And so I think a natural methods, you know, such as worm castings, compost, I think it's best for the soil and for us and for the environment. And so Absolutely. And we don't have to worry about all the chemicals leaching into the soil and into the bodies of water. And it can have a big impact on the whole ecosystem. Well, if I could share... Um, our small business, small family Absolutely. story Please. briefly. I've shared it on like one video on mm -hmm. YouTube, but it's buried five years ago. Um, so our family, we are from Taiwan and my grandfather was a, a farmer, but he mm -hmm. worked as a scientist breeding F1 hybrid seeds. And he brought this uh, information. He would like to go to South Africa and teach people how to farm and stuff like that. So he, when we immigrated to the United States, mm -hmm. we started uh, Asian farming. So like Asian vegetables, like bok choy, all that stuff before there were Asian supermarkets here. Yes. And so um, for about 20 years, as I was a child, I grew up like, you know, walking around farms and tractors. And I grew up, I was like, I'm never going to work on a farm. I'm going to work <laughs> in an <a> office. <laughs> uh, but one day, you know, after I went to college and everything, I... Um, I was working in, in like Apple and retail and, mm -hmm. and I just loved being outdoors and I loved nature and mm -hmm. my uncle who was still in farming, he stayed in farming for more than 40 years. He went into like fish, aquarium farming and then he's the inventor of the teas and our castings and our, he runs our worm farm, Uncle Steve. You probably have seen him in some of our videos. Yes. And he, through all of the vegetable farming, he learned that there's a lot of issues when you use too much chemicals it damages the soil and i don't know if you guys know there's a lot of documentaries showing that now that we only have 60 years left if we keep growing this way yeah. um, but if you use nature you know using compost worm castings um, microbes in the soil just like microbes in your gut that yes. we can rejuvenate the soil we can even reduce um carbon in the atmosphere you know and pull it into the soil so okay. it's Beyond my scientific understanding, but I just know, like, this is something I believe in. This is something that I know is good for the environment, for my own health. If you grow vegetables and fruit that you're going to eat and you know what's in it, yes, that's a huge thing. Um, so through the farming, my uncle, he continued, but my dad and my grandpa both got cancer. And this was when I was in college. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it was a hard time. And I thought, oh, I'm going to be a lawyer. I'm going to go fight the, the you know, the I'm going to go fight it. But, you know, ended up, like, I think I'm in the best place now here, like, promoting worm castings and the benefits of it to the soil health, mm -hmm. that yeah. you're not polluting the water, you're not polluting, you know, you're not um, eating too much, like, toxic materials. That's, yes, that's, absolutely. 
that's in all of our foods these days that's grown all over the world and especially yeah boys gardening is mentioning children i'm a mm -hmm. mother now and now i get it i'm just like all i can think about is like what's gonna happen in the future for for us and our children and mm -hmm. what are we leaving to them um yeah so that that's our our family business story it was, seems like we're a big company but there's really only four of us trying to do everything wow. <laughs> So yes, we have so much work to do. That's why you Your might notice huge. <laughs> some of you guys that have been with us for five years, you've been using our products for at least five years. You'll notice like our bags gradually change, our our, yeah. our bottles changing because we're getting feedback from you guys like, oh, it's leaking. Oh, this thing smells. Oh, yeah. I don't like it. So we're trying our best, yeah. you know, to 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 make something that that we know home gardeners want and need. You know, and, and not just not just for farmers, but we do work with a lot of agriculture and commercial farming. And that's good to hear that they're actually turning into the, the more natural ways yes. to be the soil. I think there's like an uh, awareness, you know, and suddenly mm -hmm. an urgency, especially, you know, during this pandemic, this time is really hard and we're just like evaluating, you know, what, what are we doing to the earth? Yes, mm -hmm. Kiss the Ground documentary, that's a, a huge yeah. game changer, but it's not depressing. It's actually really uplifting and it gives us yes. hope. And wait, yeah. there's things that we can do, right? To make it better. Yes. So yeah. I just saw that Scott from New Garden Road is here and he advocates also for organic gardening yeah. and more natural methods. I'm not sure. I don't think I brought this up yet, but we've talked about this before when we're using worm castings. One of the benefits is that you run into less disease infestations and pests because overall your plants are healthier and the worm castings contain all the microbes it, it sounds too good to be true like eating healthy and yep. and keeping your digestive system yes. healthy it's that your body can absorb better so when yeah. you use worm castings any other soil amendment that you're using it's going to absorb it better mm -hmm. and um, also there's a lot of studies that show that plants grown with worm castings insects nectar sucking insects like aphids you know like uh, spider mites like all those things they don't like they don't like it like and it's partially because the plant has its own defense mechanisms mm -hmm. when you're when it's healthy it can make tannic acids it'll grow more um like hairs on the stems i don't oh. know if you noticed this i did I side by side you'll yeah. notice like they're just like hairier leaves and just just makes it harder for, <laughs> for insects but that's all just mm -hmm. nature we don't have to plant it it's like nature knows what's best and so um, we just make a good, really good quality worm casting that's aged, mm -hmm. and then our worm tea. And then now we have a new product, Vitality, which we just released this month. Yes, we'd like yes. to know more about that. So it's um, called Vitality, and it's micronized worm castings. Yes. But will you please explain what that means? Sure. So I'm instead of saying micronized, I'm just calling it super fine, super okay. fine earthworm casting. So okay. um, many of you that use our products know that we have um, regular worm castings, right? Yep. So it's already aged so in our worm beds we we i'm giving you extra back behind the scenes info uh we we feed the worms for one year okay that's much longer than a lot of other earthworth yeah. earth worm farms then we harvest it and then we sorry i got flies <laughs> <laughs> i'm outside it's 100 degrees 100 um, degrees oh yeah we're in the desert it's cold here i have oh. my sweater on 41 degrees oh Early yeah see morning, i'm wearing a tank top <laughs> and, I'm, and i'm glistening i bundled up yeah Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> but yes, so earthworm castings, we have a standard grade, okay? And then we have a premium, which is more fine. It doesn't have the little slivers of organic matter. And so basically pound for pound, you're getting more castings if you get the premium, but it costs a little bit more. So it's more for like germination, indoor gardening, seed starting, or some people just want to get the best stuff. Yeah. And then we found a way to get the best stuff out of that. So I kind of think of it as like extra virgin olive oil. Okay. So earthworm castings is kind of like olives, you know, yep. and then then there's olive oil and then there's extra virgin olive oil. You know, it's just like the purest stuff. It's just the stuff you need. So I'm going to pour some for you guys to see what it looks like. Nice. So it comes in a little bottle. You don't need as much of it. So this bottle is equivalent to the power. I can't gauge it exactly, but about like three bags of worm castings. So instead of lugging around 30 pounds of castings, you just mix this into water. It's really dark. Mm-hmm. There's no odor, so those of you that don't like the worm tea smell, <laughs> this is better. And you can use it inside. And it doesn't yes. go bad. It doesn't expire, okay. even after adding water. So once you add water, okay. you can still use it. And um, it works in like aquaponics, hydroponics, 
But the thing is that we noticing, uh, what we're noticing from all of our testers right now is that it works faster. So kind of like all the benefits that you see from castings over mm -hmm. several months, you see in, I want to say like a few days or a week. When you gave me the sample, I saw it, or I witnessed it firsthand. What did you a, put it on? With a kale. The thousand head kale, the pumpkin patch, and you remember, I think I mentioned that I, I started really late on the pumpkin patch, but it's like after three weeks, I was just like blown away how fast it grew and the thousand head kale, they were really tiny and I started using it and I can't believe how fast um, I'm so excited grew. that you're, you're surprised it's, at what it could do. Well, because I, you know, it's kind of a new thing and I was like, okay, let's see what this does. And it's just impressive because you're delivering it. I mean, it's a liquid form and it's uh, bioavailable, right? And they absorb it quickly. Yes, so really I think it, it basically is just easier for the plant to absorb mm -hmm. and it has a lot of, it's gentle. So it's mm -hmm. never gonna burn the plant. And that's the good thing about using worm Yes, You're never gonna burn, burn the plant. And so one of the questions people get is, should I still use the worm tea with it? Yes. And they're different. So um, we recommend using castings with the tea Mm -hmm. And that's because the castings is kind of like the meat of it. It's like the, the nutrients, the carbon, the mycorrhizae, the humic acid. It has all the trace minerals and the probiotics in there. The tea, it's straight probiotics. It's all good microbes, good bacteria, good fungi. And we bloomed it so that it's like the maximum amount in here. And so that's why you just put it every two weeks. It is kind of like giving it a steady dose of microbes. And these microbes, they clean the soil. So what they do is they break down any debris, any like rotting stuff, and that prevents pests from coming and trying to be attracted to break that down. So that's just the cycle of nature. You know, worms yeah, were there yes, to break exactly. it down. Yes. And then microbes um, introduce, are introduced by earthworm castings poo. Yes, that's yeah, so true. It's, it's just amazing what it is. Earth it already knew how to do. They don't, they don't go bad. Like a lot of people will ask me, you know, how long can I store my worm castings? Mm -hmm. It's pretty much if they don't expire, they get better with time. In mm -hmm. our so how about for your, um, the worm tea and the vitality micronized casting, is there a specific temperature where they need to be stored so that it doesn't... No, matter? it's no? not like the tea. Well, this is what it looks like once you add it to water. Okay. And it does settle. It's got, it's just basically like dust. Um, so... The tea, we recommend not to let it freeze because the microbes are alive. So okay. just keep it like indoors when it's winter. Okay. And then the only reason why we say to keep it out of the sun and under 90 is because they will breathe. And so the gases kind of expand the bottle and sometimes the bottle will puff up on the bottom. But it's, it's not going to affect the quality of the tea. Okay. Now the castings, you can store them at Inside pretty much any outside. temperature. Yeah. And okay. even if you add water and you don't have time to use it all, like, I've had this here for a week and it, it will not grow algae. It's okay. not going to have any problems. That's good and it's really great for house plants, including water plants and propagation. All right. Yeah, because there's natural plant hormones in worm castings. Yes, yes. That's why you see like more flowers, more leaves, more yes, fruit, yes. and more flavor. <laughs> um, I'm going to try it with um, microgreens. The oh, yeah. Vitality. So I'm going to try that soon. I'll Please, let you know how yeah. that goes. Yeah, I'm excited to try that. So I posted a video mm -hmm. just before this chat um introducing vitality it's on our youtube it's 10 minutes long okay um, so it's in our link tree in our instagram so yeah. if, if you guys want to learn more about it and see more videos you know it's my uh home shot video <laughs> that i edited that's over. okay yeah yeah anything to give us more information is there anything else that you want to add and Good. or can we take some questions from the audience okay yeah let's take questions time? yeah so the the worm mm -hmm. castings, they promote plant defense. And so you'll see a lot less insects, powdery mildew. Mm -hmm. um, I hear a lot hornworms, like they used to have a problem with it and then it goes away. Nice. Um, and, and it also uh, it exponentially gets better each year you use it. So the longer you use it, the less problems you'll have and the more, yes. you know, you can focus on enjoying gardening. To change our packaging to be less plastic. I have looked into it. I'm trying. Um, right now, the technology for paper or bamboo bottles, it's, it's still not great. Or there's like, we'd have to, you know, the cost is really high. But I am like looking for vendors that could do that. Do you use SubPod to make your vermicompost? I'm not sure what that means. Oh, it's, um, it's, it's a, that a home system. 
Oh, okay. Uh, actually, you should explain what your farm is. Oh, okay. So yeah, our farm, really I know we should have a picture. We have a worm farm tour on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, I made it a few years ago. But basically, we have 100-foot long rows of the, the worm beds. And we have, I think, 50 to 80 of them. And we feed them green waste. So a big dump truck, kind of like a Burtec truck, well, not Burtec, you know, like a dump truck of green waste mm -hmm. comes. And then they, like, they have it, like, chipped um, leaves and grass and, and, and the stuff like that. And then we compost that, like, high heat. And that gets rid of all the pathogens. So there's no disease, no E. coli, no salmonella. Oh, and then it also gets rid of weed seeds. So mm -hmm. if you don't compost correctly, you're going to get, you know, all these mm -hmm. crazy volunteers and weeds yeah. all over the place. And so partially, like, we're making it at commercial level because we were making it originally when we started was mostly for farmers. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so... So we have, we don't use a sub <laughs> it's too yeah. big, but we use like <laughs> tractors and forklifts. About using your worm castings as well. So. Oh, yes. So blight. Um, mm -hmm. So blight, I think it's caused by fungi, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And so um, basically, this is the way Uncle Steve has explained it to me. When you use a lot of high nutrient raw materials that has a lot of protein, Part of the process of breaking it down, it's going to attract certain fungi that are bad too and disease. Mm -hmm. But if you have a lot of good fungi, which our tea and castings have, good fungi and good um, bacteria, then they kind of take up space and they compete. So they compete mm -hmm. against the bad guys. That makes sense. So E. coli is everywhere, you know. But mm -hmm. but and just like like you know, there's viruses and. And, and bacteria everywhere, but if your immune system is strong, you won't get as sick or you won't get sick. Your body's used to fighting it all the time. If you, if you are weak, you're immune compromised, then you're yes. gonna get sick from anything, right? Yeah. So same thing with your plants. They mm -hmm. can absorb better if they're healthier. Um, yeah. And that's what the worm castings do. And uh, another question, mm -hmm. Lil Sig 11 says, worm tea and castings, do I use them together? Yes, so they do, they serve different functions. Um, but if you only need, can use one or the other, it depends on what you're trying to do. So if you're just planting and you're building up your soil organic matter, then you'll use the castings because it's kind of like compost times 100 of the benefit and none of the bad side of compost. But if you have a lot of organic matter, meaning you've already put a lot of amendments and maybe your t soil is tied up, it's locked, you're having nutrient deficiency issues or there's just a lot of leaves but things aren't working well there's not a lot of aeration there's not a lot of growth then the tea will free up all the nutrients and help everything absorb faster but ideally you use them together they work best that way okay. yeah. so i've got a question here uh, from stay at home life would this work well in a no dig garden yes okay it's especially kind of like um no till mm -hmm. is that you can put it out kind of an inoculant on the top layer or on the bottom in the yeah. roots area and the microbes, they keep working. You know, mm -hmm. even when you're yeah. sleeping, they're always working. And, yeah. and then as your soil gets healthier, you're going to have worms mm -hmm. in your own garden. It's true, and, you'll yeah. and you'll be able to use less worm castings. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's so the longer you use it, the better. So you're building the soil, right? Exactly. Yeah, and you don't have to use as much. And you can replenish, but you know, over time, you won't have to use the same amount. It seems like that's what is happening in your garden, Miss Ola. Yes, yeah. I don't have to use as much, but also, you know, like I said, it all, all starts with healthy soil. It's alive, right? All the microbes working together, and without the microbes, then the nutrients cannot be released cause, because they actually assist in breaking down all the organic matters in there. So it's, it's wonderful stuff. I love worm castings. <laughs> Yay. So does anyone have any other questions about... Our products or how to use it or vitality yeah anyone else here's what it yeah, looks please. like if you guys missed it I'll it's super it. fine worm casting so you don't need to use as much of it to get the same results Eve urban gardener worm castings are uh, saving the world <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome are they sold in bundles oh not yet i Okay. What kind of bundle would you like? I, I'm thinking to do that though. Yes. Oh, um, we're also going to make bigger sizes. Right now, we're, this, it's just 16 ounce, but we're coming out with the 8 ounce. And that's more for houseplants because, oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a usage guide. Don't be scared. We made it smaller, but um, 
I had to do the math of how to explain how to use this. Yes. Basically, it depends on your soil. Just like if your soil is really healthy, you might not need to put as much fertilizer. Um, with worm castings, it's the same thing. So you can use about two ounces per gallon, and that's just going to keep everything healthy. But if you put more, you're just going to push growth. You're going to see everything grow faster, more flowers, more leaves. And then if you want to use it in place of worm castings, then you'd use even more. So I have like three different rates on here. And I would appreciate if you guys, anyone's planning to try it, just, you know, email us or um, text us, text me. Basically, I, I read all the emails and all the texts. So send it to me. Like, let me know, you know, what your questions, your feedback, your what, what you're seeing, even photos, because we're trying to collect all the information. We know it's good. We just don't, we just don't know exactly what it's going to do yet. Other than ev all the, all the YouTubers and Instagram professional growers are really impressed. So what we're really trying to do is we want to push this towards organic hydroponics, and that doesn't exist yet. There is no organic hydroponics. All hydro is chemical. But I think in the future, as yeah. climate, the climate is getting all ruined, there yeah. is a push to grow more indoors, mm -hmm. vertical farming, yeah. um, underground, you know, yeah. in, especially in places where it's really cold or mm -hmm. really hot. And so they're going to need to either use soil with worm castings. And the reason why is we've noticed that wherever you grow in high density or indoors, mm -hmm. you're going to get disease after at least one or two years, there's going to be problems. But if you use worm casting products, then those problems are reduced or go away. And it's, it's basically because nature is there to balance things out and protect yeah. the plant. Yeah. So working with nature. Yes, working it's with the nature. best. Yeah. That's, <laughs> you can use, you'd like, if you like to use my affiliate code, it's learn to grow, learn to grow. 10 off at vermistair.com. Thank you. Thanks, guys. And I think you have a promotion on the shipping right now, or did that end? Yeah, it's free shipping um, for orders over 35. Okay, so nice. if you just get like two products together, you'll get free shipping. Okay, free shipping yeah. over 35. Wonderful. I think that's or if you want to buy it on Amazon, then there's no shipping either. That's right. And please write us a review because we only have one review so far. It's new. Oh, on the vitality. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Mindy, for joining us yeah. today. Wonderful Pleasure. information. This is not as scary as I thought it was going to be. No, it's it's fun, you know. Fun. We'll hop on another time, and maybe we'll okay. talk about the results. But I'll be giving it a try in the microgreens, and then yeah. I'll also be fertilizing um, the fall crops because I just sowed some seeds, and we'll see. Oh, how can't that wait. Goes. Yes, I'll keep you posted. And I hope you can make us a, a vitality video too, with because I know you had some photos from your results yes, in your yeah. garden in the spring. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yes. I see a question. We mm -hmm. are on Amazon, but the price is, is full price there. So if you get mm -hmm. it from our website, you get 10% off using Masilla's code, Learn to Grow. Um, we also have bundles on our website. So when you buy like two of something or four, then we just discount it too. Oh, Thanks for joining here. us on a Friday. Enjoy, Enjoy your weekend, weekend, everyone, and plant something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Grow more food. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mindy. No okay, talk to you soon. It was a pleasure. Bye. You as well. Bye. Take care, everybody.